so high again. And after a long break, I made my recently premiered Boston intro. about the so-called climate crisis, now, why do they do that? So today on Facebook, some people I, I know, they posted this concerning warning about global warming. Now most people react to messages like that by a mental bias called negativity bias. When we hear negative information, we basically react. We flee. Or we defend the argument because uh, negative is stronger than positive. So the argument about climate, whether it's warming or if we are in a crisis, is not a matter of yes or no but a matter of delving in to the paleoclimatology and the chronostratigraphic chart, strange words, you need to know a little about physics as well. So climate is a process where trace gases move between five spheres, and we know one of them, the atmosphere, Another one is the biosphere, that's us, all animals and all plants together. The cryosphere, which is all ice, the hydrosphere, which is all water, and the pedosphere, or the lithosphere, which is the ground. Central for this process is the carbon cycle. Everyone needs to learn about the carbon cycle. So since the Cambrian explosion, when visible life came about, the CO2 level in the atmosphere was five to 7,000 ppm, and it was 50% warmer. Think about that. Since then, 95% of the carbon dioxide has moved to the pedosphere, the forest, the, the part of the biosphere, and the oceans, the hydrosphere. And it has only become colder. So, is there a crisis? I don't know. But before we make a decision about whether we have a crisis or not, I think we should have a reasonable discussion about it. I think that's the number one. Every time you fear, you feel fear for something, uh, try to figure out the facts and figures beforehand. I give you that uh, a researcher called Susan Crockford has specialized on polar bears in the Hudson Bay. And she shows that despite the fact that some doomsayers claim uh, they are starving and on the brink of extinction. Polar bear, polar bears are more prevalent than ever, or at least for the past 30 years. Think about that. Don't fear the future. It's easy to say, but to avoid that, talk to your friends, have a discussion, accept to be wrong. 